Well, first of all, this is a word in our ancient language. So when they say symbol, people get scared. Yeah. This is a word which represents life. Life eternal, everlasting, and self-generating. This here is the womb of the woman. You see, in our legacy, we say, in the beginning was the womb. Mm, they say in the beginning was the word, but we say the word came from the one who came out of the womb. Of course. So African culture always gives the woman that place of honor. These are the children. The crossbars are the children, our extensions from us. They go where we say go, do what we say do, or supposed to. This here is the man, mm -hmm. which shows the responsibility of the man to uphold the children and the, fa and the whole family. Mm -hmm. Now they're joined together here at this uh, matrix here to in, uh, show unity of the family. It also symbolizes the, um, the um, spirit, mind, and matter. Okay. It also symbolizes the water that rises up to the clouds precipitating back on the earth as rain to bring the seed of new life out of the ground. However you look at Ankh, it means life eternal and everlasting. Mm.